this is FFAN16 and Rancic, and welcome back to the Gamers Library, our podcast that we do once a month. This month for March, we are going to be covering subscription versus free-to-play games on both console and mobiles and PC, if you're a PC gamer. We'll get into some details of pros, cons, and our personal opinions. Now, we are not sponsored or affiliated with any of these games it's just all personal opinion and we would like to start a conversation in the comments below on your guys's feels on your favorite type of subscription versus free to play game and what's your pros and cons and stories of that like but rancic when we talk subscription and free to play we mean stuff like wow final fantasy 14 versus kingdom hearts on chain key and like Digimon, Rearise. Those are the two kind of genres that I kind of play when it comes to subscription and free to play. What's your feels on the these these genres? Mm, it's pretty good. I mean, I play mostly uh, pay subscriptions. Uh, the free to play ones. Um, back then, I used to play this game called uh, I think it was called Everwinter, and you know some some weird. A rope. It, it was kind of like World of Warcraft. Uh, Never Winter. Yeah, that's the name. Okay. Never Winter. Um, and it was uh, free to play, um, but they do have cash lots where you can technically buy extra things on the side if you want to. So pre loot you know, boxes. Pre loot boxes, <laughs> which I'm not a super fan of too much. Um, but I was like, I, I can't play free to play most of the time. I mean, it's fun, but the content doesn't grab me as much as like you playing like Final Fantasy 14. Like, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's bought, you know, you pay something every month and the feeling of Final Fantasy 14 just feels so good. You know what I mean? So, well, that, that um, brings it to the, the aspect that you are paying a subscription for it. So you, they're going to put a little bit more of a full game development. They're going to want you to sit there for hours to play where most of the free to play games are those quick little games you want to play on the bus on the way to work. Or you got five minutes between eating supper and your kid having a bath, do a quick little side mission. A lot of the subscription games, you can't really do that. You got to kind of commit to an hour plus. So the pros and cons of that one is how much time do you have in your life and how much money do you want to (laughs) invest? Indeed. I was like, I don't know about that. Uh, I I mean, in my personal like life, I've always played subscription based because I I my first RPG, my my first MMO Mm -hmm. was Final Fantasy XI, and that was a paid subscription. $15 Fifteen dollars a month. Well, that's, um, I and wish that's when, what it was now for fourteen. I knew, <laughs> and <laughs> then for fourteen, 14. It, and then fourteen is pretty pretty pricey. Along yeah. with the loot boxes, because fourteen does like this double thing. You could pay the subscription and you could buy some extra stuff. Yeah, you could like, go to the Mog Station and purchase uh, like fancy gear from other Final Fantasies. They have Fantasia bottles if you want to change your race, or you get one front free Fantasia bottle upon a, a, an expansion, but right. you're also paying for those expansions, like $30, $40 a pop for the expansion as well to continue much, on the story. But they're giving you a, a 40 to 50 hour gaming experience for that. So you are paying for right. a game, you're just also paying to play it. Right. You're paying basically for server skipping... Yeah, server. You basically, if you want to buy the story skip, you you buy the story skip along. I <laughs> yeah, I, I prefer playing through the story because I would like to know what's going on. But not only that, it's like you're paying for that service. You're paying for the story skip, and then also they give you gear and they give you like some money because they don't mm-hmm. want to be broke. Um, and that's pretty I much. I never about started it, off but... with money. You got money in fourteen. God damn! It took me forever to get money in fourteen. I never. I actually had a friend who crafted and gave me one mil. But that's, that's what you need. You need day. a sugar mama or sugar daddy in fourteen to get money. Or you got to spend time <laughs> gathering, crafting. The one thing about fourteen is the gill is super hard to get, and um, and it's something you want to hoard in your bank. You don't pay money to get money. In some of these uh, gotcha games or these free to play, you just buy their in-game currency and you can buy as much stuff in-game. You pay to win 
And uh, if you're like me, you just go and do your dailies. That's what I do. I play a lot of date. I play a lot of those type of games, but I just go in right. for the fact to do to do my dailies. Like the, this is my my tray right now. I just oh, show you can wow. see that. And the top five or six games that I have on in here, I just launch the app once or twice a day collect my dailies i might not even play the game for months but guess what when i do feel like playing it and i jump in i've got such a treasure trove waiting for me because i just go in there each day and yep that's good got my crap did my thing shut her down but then when i get into the mood for it i can pull i can grab and i haven't spent a cent but i could push through story pretty quickly because i've just accumulated all these nat these resources for my dailies that I'm like, yes, next yeah, spend money. Ex exactly. And that's what I feel. I feel like playing through something is better than just getting the free, like just getting it free and then you're skipping all that story. Because then you have only 10 levels to work with with Shadowbringers. Mm -hmm. After that, yeah, you got some end, 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 um, end game content from Shadowbringers. But then imagine if you browse through all that and then you're done. And then. What are you gonna do? Work on your ultimate weapon, which takes I mean that that could take That's a while. That's if you itself. don't wanna do it. <laughs> I just do right, whatever because people... the next the next expansion gives you better gear. So Yeah. It's like it's no point of doing the ultimate weapon in this game because I feel like every freaking like expansion is always another new, a new ultimate weapon. And they have to spend like another like fifty or sixty hours just to get it. Yeah. I am not doing that. <laughs> no, I, did, like... I didn't do I didn't do my um expansions to my base weapons to make them better i just got the next gear and did my thing i like i really miss 14 but then it comes to these subscriptions is right now i can't afford it like i can't afford the subscription i can't afford the time to it and i can't afford the money so i wasn't playing it so why was i paying for it so my my account is sleeping right now but the one thing is right. since i well, even free to play, if you stop playing, as long as you backed it up onto Google, Facebook, or their server, as long as they don't shut it down, you can right. reboot the game. Now, Final Fantasy XIV is an online MMO. If any of those servers, or say 10 years down the road, Square Enix says, okay, this game's done, we're on to Final Fantasy XX, XX is going to be an MMO. You've got to weigh your costs, right? You've spent right. X amount of years. You spent this X amount of money. If you got the benefit out of it, the enjoyment, the fun, it's totally worth every cent. But some people are like, okay, but then you never get to play it again because the servers are gone. Now, they could do two things with it. They could say, you've enjoyed your time. Servers are gone. We're sorry. Or they can transition it to an offline game and allow the story to stay. But you wouldn't have like they would have to make NPCs now part of your party instead of having local or I mean sorry uh, online people. people joining you. That might be more work, but we got the base discs. I guess that would only load the uh, login server. Right, and, and, and free, to, and free to, you know some games that are free to play. Yeah, some people like free to play games because they don't have the time um, to play the all these the investment. Um, and it's you know, they still have a great story, you know, certain games. You never went to had a pretty decent story. Mm -hmm. Um, Boulder's Gate, I, I think it was free to play as well. If I'm I'm not so certain, but yeah. anybody in the comments can let us know. But I think Boulder's Gate 2 and, and, and those type of games that were online, um, those games were also like free to play. You know, you just go get some potions from the and, in, in game potions. Look, look at um, Fortnite, look at how huge that is. That's a free to play game, and it's got oh, a huge God. community. Now, I'm not too sure about its in-game purchases. I don't play Fortnite. I know I follow a couple of people that do, but I don't pay attention to the, the mechanics. I know there is some in-game purchases or store purchases you could bring in-game, but look at the hours of enjoyment people are getting out of that. I'm not a Fortnite person, so I don't quite get it. I get third-person shooters. I play a couple myself, but um, that game is huge. Right. It's very huge. I mean, Fortnite is one of those games um, that just shocked the world out of nowhere. Like, when I first heard of it, it was like, oh, Fortnite is a free play, uh, kind of like a shoot around game. Uh, and I was like, okay, let me download it to see how it goes. And then I was like, oh, it's like a Minecraft. A yeah, I played like 10 minutes of it and I got bored <laughs> and I just like deleted it. 
It was not gonna happen. I was like, this is not for me. It's like Minecraft mixed with like first person shooter. Oh, okay. You know? That makes sense I was from what like, I've seen. It's like you building things to defend yourself so no one can just shoot you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna listen, this is so boring. I don't have no idea how these ten year old kids know how to play this. But, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 because maybe today's society likes those quick hitters. They like the short but then you see people playing them for six to twelve hours, just sitting in games. So it's not just a sit down and play for a few minutes and be on your merry way, which you can do with Minecraft and this shit on my phone. Um, but <laughs> like, I don't know. Some of them really do have good stories, like Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. If you're any kind of a Kingdom Hearts fan, damn you, Nomura, putting lore and <laughs> like stuff where I have to follow this app. And so I know what the frack is going on. And um, <laughs> I refuse to put money in it because I know I'll just sit there and pull. And I've been stuck at like 840 or 860 something quest because these mo- they, they're like hardcore bad guys. And I'm like, there's got to be a way around it where I don't put a cent in it. I think the most I've ever spent on a uh, let's call it a gotcha game is Pokemon Go because I needed more bank right. space. And there's no right. way to get more bank space without paying. Now, I have a family member who isn't a gamer, who never understood why I gamed, and they got into... This is the bad side about these games. They got into a park builder type game, like Jurassic Park Builder or whatever. Within a week, they spent $500. <laughs> I had to oh, kind wow. of had the talk with them that... This isn't something you want to be throwing money at. Uh, it can become an addiction. It, this, it can, it's, some of it is seen in some countries as gambling. They were an adult. They have every right to choose. They are not under the age of 18. It just had to explain to her what the difference was between what you see behind me as my collection and my games versus paying this server to get more dinosaurs into your park that might disappear tomorrow. Hmm. So I told her like, you know, five bucks here and there. If you give yourself a budget, if you want to play, put money into these games to get ahead, go for it. But monitor and budget yourself. Set a limit. Like, don't go butt crack crazy. You're going to find yourself in debt. And now they've just spent money on something again that might disappear tomorrow. Heck, fire might come and take all of this, but I don't know. It's physical. It's here. I could touch it and cuddle it and throw it into right. the game console and watch it all pretty. <laughs> but um, and and even with me, like with my physical games, with subscriptions, with free to plays, you just set a budget, set what you know you're able to afford, and right. indulge yourself a little bit. But to just be your own rein in. Don't don't go crazy is my advice. <laughs> I I kind of did went crazy because I told myself I don't want to I don't want to do those type of things for Final Fantasy fourteen. But I I succumbed to it for once. I, I bought I, I I took my Dragoon to seventy and I took my Machinist to seventy um, because I really wanted Machinist, but I didn't want to go through the whole hassle of level thirty all the way to seventy. Same thing with Dragoon, even though Dragoon was at 50 already. Mm. But it was just like the hassle. Like, I think they put a hump in there for a reason. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I'm so, like, drained the hell out. So I say, you know what, let me just buy the damn thing. So I bought two of them. I got both my jobs to 70. I felt so happy. And I was like, you know what? Sometimes paying for certain things, it's it's good. Just don't overdo it. Don't overspend, like, too much money. So I, I those two jobs are good. My samurai is seventy naturally. Mm-hmm. I I actually had fun with samurai, so that's the reason why I took it to seventy. Yeah. Uh, naturally, um. But yeah, it's it's worth it's worth it. Um. Just not over. Don't overspend on it because there's yeah. so many things you can buy. Mounts you could buy. Oh, there's everything. There's, there's clothing from every type of Final Fantasy. There's mounts. There's potions and stuff. There's you could buy houses. Um, like, by housing, it's like, ooh. And then, and then they throw like expensive prices out there. I'm like, Jesus, who could afford all these things? Like, I'm like, there, what was it? Um, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius or um, 
one of the ones that was a Square Enix title was around for oh four years now, and right. like a lot of put it, a lot of people in the community put some money to it, and they just were losing interest within the within North America. I don't I don't know what happened in Japan, but they're like, yeah, this. This app is going away as of X amount of days. If you had purchased anything as of this date on, you'll get reimbursed. But anything prior to that date, you're you got to use up your coins and all your stuff oh, before the server sucks. goes off. So, like, I can't I can't imagine people who have invested <sighs> like you've invested all this money and not only money this time, which again, if you get you've gotten the satisfaction out of it it's worth it to you and i'm not saying that you shouldn't do it because if you are getting satisfaction out of it by all means just monitor yourself and you are golden but um i was playing i was playing this one app and they're like it's gone and i'm sitting there I'm like but i just got into it <laughs> I'm like right. i just found you and now you're gone i'm like it was really <laughs> good and i'm like it just came in way too late and it's yeah you kind of miss out on those opportunities because they just never kick off that's, as great that's kind of similar to what happened to um what, back then when final fantasy is 11's golden age mm. when they used to have it on the xbox 360 and the ps2 yeah um everyone there, there was a friend of mine who basically worked his butt off in the game trying to get his dragoon a uh, nice dragoon his dark knight relic weapon the sigh so this side was like super OP. It was I forgot the name of it, mm -hmm. but it was really good and it's a really good side. He spent like months and months <laughs> and months on it. I think it took like a year and a half for him to get it. Yeah. Because he had to kill some notorious monsters and it was a lot of time consuming. He finally got it. And then a month later, they announced that Final Fantasy XI was going to be shut down their servers for the Xbox 360 and the PS2. And he couldn't believe it. He was, he's crying. He was crying. He actually cried on the phone on me. I'm like, bro, well, you like, get attached I don't know what to, to them, right? Yeah. I was like, the only way you could do it is like, listen, um, you're going to have to transfer to the PC version because it's still doing free. Yeah. Um, to this day, it's still free. Yeah, uh, I think not they free, got but... one or two servers still running. Yeah, but I think yeah but i feel like people i feel like he was like nah i'm not going back man because i don't have a computer and i don't want to buy a computer just for one game so he was very crushed and i yeah. felt bad for him because he spent a lot of time on those games um i i, I told him listen yeah. man uh, well that's the one, the one downfall <laughs> it, it's it's not like the old um or the current single player with the odd online component it's not your personas it's not your classic final fantasies or your modern warfares i'm not sure if that's all online yet or not you can't just have a save file somewhere pop in a disc and start re-enjoying what you spent 30 to 100 hours on two years ago i've got save files that i look up and i'm like holy crap i haven't touched this game till since 2016 or 2014 but i could go back to it i could just pick up right where i left when you have these free to play or and they're all online like it's it, everything has to do with a server once that server is aged or once there's no longer the customer base to financially support it being on line anymore they have to have two choices again they've got to either make it an offline experience and just have the app may or may not get updates or the game may or may not get updates or be shut her down and say hey i hope you guys have enjoyed the time that you've had we really appreciate you being here but we will no longer be supporting this application or game anymore. And you've got to determine if you do play these, that that is a risk you're taking with it and to get as much enjoyment out of it, but you may not be able to continue playing it in the future. Right. I feel like Square Enix, what they should have done was this. The games will be gone. However, for the people who work their butts off to get like these relics, what we'll do is that we'll reward you for them. You know, like when you switch over to the PC version or whatever, you know, we'll give you the relic because you almost was completed completed it, and we want you to keep your relic because you know we want you to not leave the game. <laughs> well, it all depends on the coding, right? Like if they're unable right. to move over your character and all its assets from one platform to another. 
it probably wouldn't be as easy for them to just give you the same kind of asset when you move over to a new system. Right. They probably could give you some sort of in-game token or money or material to help you get back to where you were, but they couldn't give you that exact item back. Right. Look at like the the turmoil from the last what is it year and a half to two years with EA and loot boxes. They they almost destroyed <laughs> um, being able to do online in game purchases because a lot of countries were seeing it as a gambling act and was trying to enact new laws against gaming. There is going away going too far. Some companies went. We're pushing that little red line a little bit, and then, and then there's others right. that are like, there is in-game app purchases, you are at the full discretion, you must be over this certain age. If you're giving us the consent verbally or through a nominity of your phone that you're over a certain age, we've done our due diligence. But when you're actually literally pushing it on people, you really can't advance in this game without buying this loot box. <laughs> That's not a game. Right. That's a money push. <laughs> it is a money push it's it's just too much um but i feel like you know overall like when it comes to free to play or comes to pay services it just depends on on, on the customer and yeah, the customer has enough want. time yeah it depends on what you want if if, if you got time to play a, a, a pay subscription or you just have a time to play a uh, free to play but you want to spend a lot of time on the free to play that's great mm -hmm. because you know free to play has great you know benefits too. You know it has some, some free to plays have great storylines, and, um, and it is got, sometimes got... nice to support that free to play so that they could go out and do a development to the game that could expand it. Right, they could do some development, some expansions that are also free. So it's actually you know it's like oh my god this is awesome compared to the to the paid subscriptions they do do expansions but most of the expansions are paid. Yeah, well, no, they, the they do free updates, but those free updates are on the courtesy of the subscription. Because you right. are paying a subscription, they're able to do more consistent free updates, enhancement, bug fixes, and stabilization of that platform, causing it to be that bigger game um, time that you could put into it. Like... I must have been spending, oh, I can't even guess how long I played Unchained Key. I played Union Cross, then it mm. turned to uh, Unchained Key, and I played right. it since it got released. God, it must be more than seven years ago, because I remember playing it before I had my daughter. So it's been over mm. seven. It's been over seven years. I remember playing it. I could be wrong, but it, I, I remember one of the apps I've been playing for about seven years. And I've put no money in it, but I've I've advanced the story fine. And it's all like, how much patience do you have and how often do you want to play it? But just keep going in and collecting your daily stuff. They're giving you stuff for free every day. <laughs> Why would you not they go in and at least just collect free. the free stuff? You want to give me free coins? Sure. I'll just do the little tappies every day and it takes two minutes. And I got a routine. I do it first thing in the morning. I get to work. I sit down prop up my phone, and while I'm logging into everything, I just touch my screen and get my dailies. <laughs> right. It's like, it's like, well, I wish Final Fantasy 14 had some dailies like that, but their dailies are actual leveling dailies. They're like, resetting oh, we'll up, give you, like... Um, yeah, we'll give you a free... Exp yeah, like, we'll give you free double experience points if you complete this dungeon that you already completed for, the, like, 5,000 times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're paying them to give you content, you're not paying them to give you items or boosts unless you go to the mug store and just their 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 stuff that you're paying for in the mug store is novelty items. A new right. Yuna outfit for your character so she could look like Final Fantasy X. Or you want that regalia mount. Like it's all the pimping items. Like you're gonna look swank because you wanna pay the extra money for it. But guess what? You don't have to pay that extra money to fully enjoy this game. It's just for bragging. I look like Cloud. Like, you know what I mean? That <laughs> kind of stuff. Where the other some other games are like, you literally can't get this master weapon unless you pay us. Good luck advancing right. in this game. There's a there's a going too far on some ends and there's not going far enough on others. Like I should still be able to play any game by 
uh, the, the free to play just just the way it is with no investment other than my time every morning or three hours a day or whatever or if i'm giving you a subscription i want my servers to be stable i want little to no downtime and i want to be able to enjoy the game without as many glitching or bugs as possible like you're getting the best of both it's just what do you want out of it right it's it's a tough it's a tough thing i mean i i, I like both mm -hmm. but if i had to pick one it's paid services yeah. it's like i just I just I'm a Final Fantasy. I get fan, I guess, and that's the only thing. Unless the <coughs> Parasite Eve MMO would be great. <laughs> they were talking Eve. about a possible remaster of Parasite Eve, maybe. Woo! It's 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 Don't give me a heart attack. <laughs> it's the square Don't guy. Give me. Square guy was like, Yeah, we should relook into Parasite Eve assets. And we're like, mm. oh, the oh, ears oh, went oh, up. Oh, we're oh, like, oh. <laughs> 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 but, um, I was like Oh I, man, Parasite Eve Remastered with some great graphics. Yeah, but that one I feel sounds... should stay as a single player experience. Right, with, the, it could have some the, online MM... components, have but the, keep it, yeah, keep the main story. And the MMO, yeah, MMO would be weird. I mean, it's like you in New York. That's all you are. I mean, unless you know, and you've got a special genome that keeps you from dying. I'm, I'm sure it'd be weird if there's other players with the same genome as you. You'd be like, right. there's a whole squad of Shit. us. What does this entity have to worry <laughs> we, about now? We need the, we need some genomes like that in real life. I, I wish. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, like, what I want to see going into the future is, like, I, I really don't mind. There's a lot of games on your phone, on even the PlayStation Network, um, that are free to play. Now, when they start talking about bringing paid services to the console itself or future games that should be independent from them, that gets me a little worried. It depends mm. on how pushy they are and how the ability of turning off these services will be. There was a patent from PlayStation that this is how it's going to work, roughly from what I understand, is you're playing a game and you're getting stuck on a boss. He's beaten you a couple times, and this is kind of understanding you're having a little difficulty with this, this boss you're on. So a little thing will pop up saying, hey, look, these other gamers use the, this means to find, get rid of this boss. They used X amount of this potion. You do not have it in your inventory. For $9.99, we can give you this. Now, I, right. as a gamer on my console, I don't want that. So if some people might that's fine i know a lot of people who want to get through games easier who just right. want to have the auto battle turned on and watch it for the gameplay or just simply be a relaxed gamer if if that's what you want to do that's why you go on and buy um dlc packs for your game some might give you better items or weapons. It's just, it's more bringing that forward to you while you're gaming that, hey, look, this DLC pack is available. X amount of gamers used it to get past this boss. Are you interested in paying the $9.99 to get this DLC pack that will give you extra weapons? I don't know if I'd like to be pushed that while I'm actually gaming. <laughs> so right. if they do want to do that and it helps some players go for it, but I want to have a means to turn it off. To not right. bug me while gaming. I'm not saying that they yeah. shouldn't have it at all. It's nasty and it should never be in the consoles. <laughs> there might be somebody who I could actually benefit from it. But I got to have the ability to say, no, I'm not that type of gamer. And can I please turn off this option? Right. I mean, that's the same. It's not the same thing like Final Fantasy XIV. When you're doing a duty and you're getting your butt kicked constantly, they give you like a mode switch. From yeah, no, that's, that's easy, a little bit different. Easy. That's the game mechanics doing it. The yeah. game mechanics is under, understanding that you're having problems, so it makes the boss easier and boosts your stats at the same time. That's not what this is. This is actually right. promoting DLC packs to you as you're playing, saying yeah. 90% it's of like, other players who had this DLC pack got past yeah. this boss the first time, and it's like, are you watching me square? No. <laughs> yeah, that's the creepy part. <laughs> I watching your character. Yeah, they're they always walk. watching. Big Brother's always watching. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> oh God, I, I, that, that makes me want to put like uh, little things over on your top cameras. of my PS4. <laughs> yes, hello, <laughs> on my PS4, PS4 camera staring at me right now. How are you? 
God, that's creepy. But, oh, like, the PS5 man, but... controller is going to be able to tell your heartbeat and the sweatiness of your palms to see how your cardio is going. Yeah, what the? No, this is I don't pattern. know about that. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's literally that's other... creepy! It's high rumors right now. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt, but it's what everybody's talking about. Like, they really want you to have that almost... 4D gaming experience. So, There's going to so be gonna haptic have... feedback in these things where you're actually going to feel like you're walking in snow or walking well, through rain. Like, come on, PS5, as, where are you? Well, as long as the PS5 don't give you cancer, we should be fine. It will cure <laughs> cancer. No. <laughs> <laughs> it will cure it. You'll find oh, a game man. where you're actually working actually in a lab somewhere that you're not aware of, just like Ender's Game, and you're solving <laughs> things instead of actually thinking you're playing a game, but you're actually solving <laughs> the world's problems. I'm like, oh, PlayStation 7, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh man, um, I can't wait for the P5. Yeah, I wonder That's how that would work fun. in VR with these kind of um, like gotcha type things. And we went a little bit off, I guess. Well, free to play kind of does the same thing. It, it, it promotes the pay to win. But I'm wondering if since PS5 is going to be very highly into the VR, if I'm in a VR game, I'm going to get something like in the corner of my eye saying, hey, look, you could be doing this for $7.99. I'm like, Psh, get away. <laughs> Annoying <laughs> little bug. You're, you're messing up my eye. Yeah, <laughs> but oh, uh, it's gonna be interesting because like, like these games are are very you know they 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 unique in their own different way. You know, Elder Scrolls Online is another one that I people say, oh, you should try this game out. It's so boring because <laughs> people think that it's like freaking Skyrim. No, it's not Skyrim. It's garbage. Right? Oh. <laughs> I can I cannot play Elder Scrolls Online. I'm yeah. sorry. Final Fantasy 14 trumps it times ten. <laughs> it's it's everybody's style, right? Like that's not your gaming style, right? You can't get into right. something that's not your gaming style. I, I know, like I said, I know people who play Fortnite. It's it's their jam. It's it it they love it to death. I sit there and I'm like, no offense, because I I'm I I watch it. It looks it looks entertaining for five minutes, but then I get Word of it. I'm a I'm a storyteller gamer. I'm a I'm an right. RPGer. I want to sit down and engross myself in the world and the characters. I want to feel what they're feeling. I want to go through their story. Like right. that's why I love Death Stranding so much. It's it's right. really not one of those games that you would think a JRPGer like myself would really jump into. But ever since I watched the trailers, I'm like, I gotta see what the frack is going on here. And it's a game you have to play. I know a lot of people who watched me on stream were like, yeah, it was okay to watch. I just don't know if I'd like it. But I'm like, pick it up. Play yeah. the courier. Play as Amazon Sam. And it, there's a different <laughs> feeling. That's the type of game where you need to actually experience to, to get what he was trying to do. And I'm not a Kojima person. This is my first Kojima game. And... um. I don't know if I go back and play any of his other ones. I might Ooh. now. Like I know then I'm like sacrilege yes. in the comments. Burn the fan. You no, gotta I'm to... play Metal Gear. I well, John wants me to, so I, I I might do it just because this has now intrigued my interest in his storytelling more than yes. Metal Metal Gear is a great story. I yeah. mean, it's a military based story, but it's 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 you know it's spy agencies and mm -hmm. Foxtown or corporation. But it's a fantastic story. Um, but yeah, that's a story for another day and another video. Yeah. But um, yeah, Metal Gear is great. Definitely pick it up. You will love the story if you love storytelling games. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. So it's it's all about moderation, I believe. It's about knowing your budget, knowing the enjoyment you're gonna get out of it. Like we could say that gotcha games are evil. Don't do it. You're wasting your time and money because they could be gone to go on tomorrow. We could say the same thing about subscription based programs. Uh, the servers for Final Fantasy 14 might die tomorrow. You never know. There could be a right. catastrophe and the whole thing is gone. But well, you enjoyed thinking... it, right? You enjoyed that world. You'd love to be yeah. in there. Eorzea was very, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a world where at first, I wasn't really fond of it because I was I came from eleven with the world of Vanadil, and I love Vanadil. Uh, I I spent ten years there, <laughs> <laughs> so 
So going to Aorza was like a new experience for me, and 1.0 was horrible. Um, they, they, they were they were trying. They were trying with 1.0, and I played 1.0, and I couldn't log in much at 1.0 because I was lagging like crazy because my freaking computer couldn't take I it. I didn't really come in until Realm Reborn. Like, when they re-relaunched it and they had the beta, I played the beta of Realm Reborn, and I fell in love with it right there. I had to play it right away. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I enjoy it. I love it, and now I love it. Now I'm I'm hooked. You know, like uh, I, at first I wasn't a big fan of Roman Born, but now pretty a pretty regular. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, and they just with they had a couple dull expansions. They were okay, but they they weren't as strong as um, Shadowbringer. Shadowbringers. This Shadowbringers said their story is better. Yeah, Shadowbringers uh, is amazing. Like, oh, this is the first time I'm gonna be bad here. Don't hate me in the comments. This is the first time I paid attention to a Final Fantasy 14 expansion since Heaven's Ward. Like, I was not skipping Heaven's scenes Ward. as Heaven's much Ward as God. I was before. Um, just because I'm intrigued, they really hit it out of the park with this, and is and that's because we've been investing in this world since creation. We've been allowing them to keep going and developing and creating a more stronger, better team that knows what they want to take and do with Final Fantasy XIV. Where at first they may have not really foreseen the longevity and the fan base sticking with XIV as much as they have. And that's the strength of subscription-based programs. As long as people are investing, because we are investors in it, every month right. you're paying into it, you are an investor in that platform. As long as we have enough investors into that platform, it will keep growing and staying online. They are not even considering right now another MMO because 14 is the king in their books at the moment for that. Right, and I, I'm sure they're probably somewhat developing a, a next MMO for Final Fantasy because no. they usually, I mean, they did it with eleven. I mean, eleven did nine years though, nine nine solid yeah. years. Eventually, they were already well, planning to do fourteen. That sounds like because they're moving between three console generations at that point, right? Right. right. You're gonna want so, something more graphically pleasing, and you're not gonna revamp old servers for that. You're not. Right. Of course, that it's a lot of work, and. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, I feel like, yeah, like Final Fantasy story. As long as people are investing in the story and everything that comes along with it, with the gear and everything, mm -hmm. and constant updates are happening, we're gonna Final Fantasy is gonna be good. And any any MMO that yeah. that does that will be good. Um, and Estinian's Bay. I gotta just say that because Estinian, man, <laughs> uh, guy love the dragoon or the Zoro yeah. dragoon. <laughs> yeah, but he is the man. Uh, but yeah, um, as long as they 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 are doing well with that, that's great. Free to play, it's slow. You know, um, they will do some updates here and there, but they're not highly invested in it. Like yeah. if, if they will be invested in it, but if they're not. If people are not playing their life, they're not getting a lot, a lot of people online. They're not, not going to bother with it. You know, well, they, like, oh. they won't last very long. Like they need a download ratio to be high. They need constant daily logins to be high as well. A lot of the revenue either comes from ads that are playing during. So some of these free to plays will have like if you watch this two minute video, you'll get an extra 500, let's say crystals. So right. you can, again, find other ways to increase your inventory or your in-game money without putting real-world money in it. But it's asking you to invest time away from the game or just simply paying out something. A lot of these free-to-play games on the mobile are really there because they know you have a short period of time and you're going to come and pick it up and play for a few minutes. A lot of the consoles, that's where you're going to find the subscriptions on the PC because they know when you come to these, these guys, you're going to sit down. You're going to miss right. more than five minutes. When I come to this, I'm bored for a minute and I want to see what I can do in... Um, Unchain Key or Brave Exvius or Mobius. Mobius also is slowly dying. Mobius was a huge infrastructure. It's even on PC on Steam. 
that was amazing. We saw a mobile game transition from mobile to a PC base, and it actually looks pretty damn sick on the PC. They did a really good integration, but its player base is going down. And, Mo and um, Mobius was getting constant updates. It got constant campaigns, and it's just because it had such a great fan base. It had enough people on it to warrant income from the advertisements that were playing quietly in the background, or people were investing money to help their warrior of light. But they had an amazing story. And that story can be consumed in small chunks where streaming base, the story is consumed in a longer period. So they, they can't really, they're like an apple and orange with a mixture right. of an orange apple in the middle where you could kind of have a, a hybrid of the both. And with that, it'd be more like we can get more constant updates. And if you want to invest in it, you can, or if you wanted to keep it as a free to play, you don't have to, but again, it's, it's an investment. So the more you do that, the better the game quality is going to be. Right. It's, 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 that's how it normally works. Like it's just it's based on those and it's a business. As long as the, the game is doing good, it's good. If yeah. the, if the fan base is dropping, it's going to be RIP pretty soon. <laughs> well, they're not going to maintain a dying server. Like, it's all on servers. Right. Uh, like That's I said, I... they need to make them take the whole story, compress it, and make it, in, uh, make it an offline, offline download. Heck, Union Cross is like two to five gigs every time they do a patch update. Because it's just right. chunky. Because he wants so much of the goddamn lore in there. <laughs> but that's the developer. I, I play like um, something Eden on uh, my Chromebook. Because my Chromebook plays pretty good with, with some of the apps. And um, it's a nice little game to jump in. And you get the odd warrior or whatever you want to call them. But it's all random. Like unless you want to mm. probably pay to get a specific warrior, you're you're going by RNG, and RNG is never friendly. That's why when you do pulls for certain weapons, when you're looking for um, an EX weapon in Dissidia Opry Omnia, which has a huge, beautiful fan base. Like I got a couple streamers who are doing excellent streaming Opry Omnia. They know it like a fine tooth comb. I'm a casual Opry Omnia fan. I just love it because I like collecting Final Fantasy characters in my own little bottles and have them on a shelf and stare <laughs> at them for a while but it, it it's got Titus. story <laughs> and, I, and I, I precious um it, these mobile you know. games can do so well as long as they appease the fan base and they don't force you to pay to win right and that, that's the most beautiful thing you know and i wish games were more like like that but well, we games are always it's gonna be always like that it's gonna be yeah. always gonna be a business so well we've seen it with uh, uh what was that um a star wars game was it that was Knights literally of the a pay to win <laughs> that came out on the consoles uh, oh they they, they built it so you literally had to get loot boxes to play and um they had to go back and actually free it up a bit because they got a ruling saying that they couldn't do that anymore. And uh, they made it. It's a lot easier now. I can't remember the game. I'm sure I'm getting comments down below because I'm, I'm not a... I love Star Wars to death, but I'm not a Star Wars gamer. Although I want to get... And actually, I actually have the newest Star Wars game on my boyfriend's Xbox I might pick up and play because it looks amazing. Um, oh, the, 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 the Jedi one? Yeah. The... Yeah, I, I, that's the one I played. It was pretty good. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's a mix of Tomb Raider and everything else rolled into one. But it's I don't know, so it's... freaking hard though. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so annoying. I died so many times. But Excellent. but the the thing the thing also with the art, with the role playing um with the MMOs like 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 even though they're not doing one um but I heard rumors about Final Fantasy Eleven two. No, um, I I doubt and, they'll do that. Well, they were planning to make it a mobile version. Oh, but well, then they, they decided had a mobile version in development. In development, yeah. but now they're saying that they want to do it 
they want to do it a mobile slash console. I thought they wanted to do that with 14 as well, like make a mobile companion. Well, we'll see. I mean, they might do it for both. Who knows? But if they do it for both, then that'd be great. Because then let's say they do another on, then that's comp. But then you're basically betting against yourselves. Which <laughs> paid subscription? Which paid subscriptions will be better? Is it going to be 11 no, dash 2? I think it'll go- be cross related. Like your subscription may allow you to log in with your character on the mobile and do maybe gathering or simple tasks that you would do or need to set your set your guy to do or your retainers you would go and check on your retainers and make sure you get your your dailies if you can't jump into the game because i call my retainers dailies in 14 because you have to go talk to wow. them daily so maybe they'll do something like that check in with your daily. retainer go daily and make, one, sure daily two. make sure you're selling <laughs> on the market have the marketplace on the app so then you could be trading what you got in your vendors in the market there the, it could be more of a companion app rather than a separate game Right, right, and and that's the thing uh, that'll be interesting. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's probably not gonna come out for another few years because this is in development. Oh, by then it'll be something different. They'll rebrand it. <laughs> <laughs> they always rebrand things. Ah, oh, freaking Final Fantasy, freaking fifteen. <laughs> Anyways, that's a rebranding. Like, what we're just trying to get here is that every gaming is great. Um, it's just. Oh, it's for you it's it's your gaming it's your enjoyment but it can be dangerous if you aren't able to manage yourself and what i mean by that is some people do get into habits where they can harm themselves by spending too much money or harm others so set a budget know what you're able to do and there are ways to do these games without spending a huge amount of money. Now, subscription is a commitment. You're committing to us X amount every month. But if you do want all the extra little bling bling goodies, just say, hey, I've got an extra 20 bucks this month. I'm going to go get Cloud's Outfit for my guy. Like, I know Cloud's Outfit's available already in the game, but let's say Yuna's. But it's you. It's It's your life. You pick what's great for you and be a safe gamer. We love gaming. We love you guys for listening. And any last words, Rancic, that you'd like to say? Yes. For all the gamers out there, non subscription or the, or the regular sus- or free to play, please, if you keep playing great, you know, but don't overdo it. Don't spend hours and hours and hours and hours without eating, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> You gotta be healthy to play more gaming. Final Fantasy XI's first, uh, even the original 14, one, yeah. uh, 1.0, have that thing in the front. Don't forget your family, your friends, your lover, everything. Yeah. They don't, they don't have that for Roman Reborn. I'm surprised. Yeah. It's because they kick you out of the server if there's too many people in there anyways. <laughs> that's true. All um, right, but, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's it for, for me. I mean, you guys are awesome. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much again. for listening into another The Gamers Library. We'll be hopefully back next month for a new topic. Please leave any comments below of what you'd like us to cover, game related, even console related. We can go on about again more next gen stuff, rumors, greatness about sweaty palm readers in controller goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, thanks so much for the support, guys. Like, sub, leave that comment. And as always, guys, happy gaming!